In early 2004, a group of 14 people met me for a Bible study that I don't think anyone in that group knew that just in a few short weeks that we'd be a church. That was the launch of what is called the Church at Grace Point, and I can't believe it's been 14 years since we had that first meeting together. Early on in the 2003, I was studying my Bible together and had a legal pad just asking God, if you could do it the way you think it really ought to be done, how would it look? And that led me to a lot of passages of scripture, but none was more important than Acts chapter two, particularly in verses 42 through 49, where we read about the New Testament church right after Jesus lived on this earth. They took the Great Commission to heart and carried it out. And the Bible says they were doing four specific things. They were studying God's word together. It says they, uh, they continued in the apostles' doctrine, the basis of what we've tried to do for these 14 years. We study the word of God together. We fellowship together. We break bread together, and obviously we pray together. When you put those things together, it makes us really a family, and that's what we've tried to be all these years together as a family. In carrying out those things, obviously, we coined the phrase real early on uh, that it's all about Jesus and, and you gotta have fun. But ultimately, when we thought about what we've done over these years, we've really just tried to do life together. And that's what those people were doing. It says that they sold things so that others might have. They, were daily seeing people come to Christ. They were fellowshipping together. They were eating meals together. And that's what we've tried to be and to do. The longer we've been together, the more I think we've realized that we really have two purposes as a church. The first of those is obviously to see people come to Christ. In Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, it says again that we're saved by grace through faith and not of our works. But verse 10 of that same chapter 2, it says this, we're his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he preordained for us to do. And so we believe it's our job as a church, it's our duty, it's our privilege as a church to make sure that people come to know peace with God. And that's through the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Second to that is it's our job to go obviously out and have the privilege to love our community, to demonstrate God's love to this community. And I think the longer we've been together, the more we've come to realize the more we do that, the more God seems to bless our church. And so as we go forward as a church into the future, not knowing what the future holds, obviously we want to carry out those two mandates to make sure we tell people the good news of Christ, see people come to know the Lord as their Lord and Savior, and to continue to love our community in any way that we possibly can. I thought about it, you know, what we really want to be as a church, and I realized in my life, in my short life on this earth, I've had the privilege to pastor almost every size church that exists. And I never want the church at Grace Point to be known as a church that has the tallest steeple or the biggest buildings or even have the biggest congregation. I'd rather be known as the church that has the biggest heart. And so as we go forward together in the future, let's maintain the idea that God put us here to make sure other people know the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that they develop a relationship with Him and grow in that relationship and then turn around and go and love this community and share God's love with them. Let's be the church, not with the biggest steeple, but the church with the biggest heart.